Hey guys, it's Chris John Hicks, and welcome to the first episode of Quick Bits, a little series that I decided to do after playing a game that I wanted to share my thoughts about, but didn't think I would have the time to make a full-fledged review on it, as I have a number of prior engagements. Alright, first off, it is Arkham Knight. Now, yeah, Arkham Knight has already been out for six months, but I hadn't had an Xbox One until recently. And I just recently managed to get Arkham Knight and just beat the main story. What are my thoughts? To try not to get into spoilers, it's basically Batman having to save Gotham City from an attack on Scarecrow and a mysterious character known as the Arkham Knight. Now, keep in mind, there are some people that actually don't know who the Arkham Knight it really is and have actually avoided spoilers about that. So, be mindful in the comments, guys. Scarecrow is trying to release a much stronger fear toxin that ends up affecting Batman in some way when he tries to do something about that. I don't know. Uh, but I know I'm going to hate giving this part away, but the Joker makes a special sort of appearance in this game. I'm not going to say how, but... You're gonna find out yourself when you play it, and you're gonna love it. Now, the gameplay, or at least the controls, have been very solid, I must say. The new ways to end up taking out certain enemies, like a big guy with a shield, yeah, now you gotta do the cape stun, then the AA, you know, run up on there, and then land with a big girl! <laughs> no, but, um... Not only that, but the grapnel boost has been improved significantly, and at some point in the game you're going to have a better one unlocked, and doing stuff such as fear multi-takedowns, where you can actually opt to, like if you're above a certain amount of people, at most, at first, three. You can actually do a big sort of multi-takedown, take out three or more people, depending on how many you are able to do at that time. And, let's just get this out of the way, the Batmobile finally ends up being a playable feature. But I kind of wish that they didn't actually make it such a thing that was important. Like, I wish they didn't actually make it so that you really needed the Batmobile for the most part, and... It's mostly a tank for most things, and the tank battles are just a load of bullshit. I mean bullshit. It was, all, it was actually pretty hard just to take care of uh, certain side missions that required you to use the Batmobile as a bat tank. What I can say about uh, this game that is negative, if I can, uh, I don't know. I mean, it was still very amazing, but I felt like I felt like there was something missing from it. I don't really know. I don't know, I just really enjoyed, for the most part, managing to glide across the city. So having the main focus of that transportation be the Batmobile is pretty aggravating. Especially when you try to go after Riddler henchmen to unlock locations of Riddler trophies to figure out where they are, and you end up accidentally running them over, or in some cases letting them get away for whatever reason. It was probably, it was actually very aggravating for me, to say the least. And let's talk about the PC port. We have to do that at some point. Obviously my laptop wouldn't be able to run it, but for everyone else with much better graphics cards, they were not able to run it. Frames per second going down to as low as 10. Textures not even showing up properly. Glitches and bugs and crashing, oh my. And it resulted in them taking it off Steam before putting it back up, and then seeing that what they did did not end up working, and they had to offer refunds. That shows how bad the PC port was. Also, I haven't tried out the DLC yet, but I gotta say, uh, it looks very promising for me. I haven't gotten the 100% secret ending either, but I'm gonna try my best to actually get that done. What I can say is, honestly, the controls feel smooth as all hell. Driving with the Batmobile is... A bit awkward for me because I think I keep thinking I'm supposed to use right stick to turn the camera, but instead I, the camera stays behind it unless I move it myself. So it's yeah, I keep forgetting about that. And num just the number of upgrades, expansions, and all that has shown just how good this game is. But is it the best of the series? It's possible. I'd have to rank it as my second favorite. Why would I rank it a second favorite? Uh, I don't know, I still love City, but no, the City has the uh, 
Riddler trophies is very convoluted and complicated, whereas so far Arkham Knight has been alright with that. It's close to being perfect. Oh, one problem I do have, um, everything is too dark to see. Yeah, I felt eye strain when playing the game, even with the light sun and such. Brightness was at max, and it still looked too dark to see. So uh, you might want to adjust settings on your TV a bit if you want to end up doing that. This is Crazy Sean the X, and this has been Quick Bits.